My name is Nat Wei and I'm going to talk about the changing role and relationship between business and civil society. When many would say that the 20th century uh, was, saw the, very much the rise of national governments and of the state in being a kind of one-stop shop for many of the services that we enjoy today, recent developments both economically uh, in, in both the East and West have, I think, given rise to realisation in, in government that there is a need to, to introduce more business and social sector involvement in, in everything. And I guess the, the role now can shift from one in which civil society to being much more integrated in piloting, pioneering, incubating new ideas. Now, business is great at working with innovators often to scale, commercialise, make sustainable a long term um, those new ideas. So I see a very interesting partnership emerging. Supply chain issues, human labour issues, environmental issues increasingly can be dealt with uh, through consumers and businesses working together and not just through traditional uh, regulation and parliamentary activities. In times of emergency, for example, uh, in places like Bangladesh, where we're seeing business and civil society working together, where government can't, can't reach or can't rapidly respond to events and coming up with frameworks, solutions, means of communication that can help address problems in a more uh, tailored way. As many countries now are rapidly developing, we're seeing uh, in many emerging markets, uh, the middle class uh, increasing. This creates huge opportunities, um, again, to uh, have alliances between the business community serving the, those middle classes, to develop new solutions for some of the challenges that you face in countries like China, India, uh, the, uh, all, and all over the world. Um, and indeed, also in the West, which faces the challenge of how to deal with the new austerity. So I see a new wave of collaboration between business and civil society where we can see social innovators coming up with new ideas, new policies eventually, but working with businesses, collective of businesses, to take that idea to market, if you like, and start to have the kind of reach that we saw in the 20th century governments having, but now being realised by NGOs, social organisations and businesses, with government playing more of a participatory role, facilitating and ultimately enacting the kind of regulation needed, but perhaps one that was less dominant than, than we saw in, previous, in the previous century.